Okay, on you go. Good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> My name's Alan McDonald, and I'm standing for re-election as your Yehaisa Vice President. Um, you know, in my short time in Yehaisa so far, I've been slightly disheartened about students' awareness of Yehaisa. You know, I've been around quite a few of the campuses speaking to students about Yehaisa, and a lot of them don't know what Yehaisa is and who Yehaisa are. Um, and I believe that I can help to change that, along with you know anyone else who's elected with me. Um, you know, I've seen how hard the current Yehaisa executive are trying to change that, and the the, the massively overworked principal office bearers who spend all their times in meetings and you know answering emails and stuff, but can't get out to speak to students. My role only takes in 14 hours a week. I can't get out that often to speak to students, and it's 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 terrible. You know, we really need to to do something about that. Um, at the end of last year, I attended um, student council, and it was one of one of the first core at student councils in a long time, if not the first core at student council. And we had lots of students from across UHI there. And all of a sudden, you know, ideas started flowing. There were ideas for music festivals, ideas for people to get together and do this, do that. People wanted to get involved here. I decided I'd then go and stand for vice president when it came up. You know, so many things happened from just that one event. Um, it was it was fantastic. And it doesn't have to be a student council event, it can be any kind of event, whether it's the archaeological society going away on a trip or the homebrew people gathering up in someone's flat and making beer in a bath or something. You know, it doesn't take, you know, big events for these things to happen. It just takes students getting together and engaging with each other and engaging with each other and kind of making that student experience. And all of a sudden you then have a student association that's functioning and people who are involved and people who feel enfranchised. Um, you know, and the way I think we can do that is through clubs and societies is one way we can do that. And um, by having more clubs and societies, you're reaching out to more people. There's more variety. Um, Heidi's exactly right. There's no reason why anybody should not find a club that they think is suitable for them. And if there doesn't happen to be a club that's suitable for someone, there should be nothing to stop them starting that club and trying to engage with other people and working on that. And that's what I've been trying to do. Anyone who's approached me to start a club, I've tried to give them as much information as possible, give them as much of my experience as possible, and help them get on their way. Um, the other way I think we can enhance this experience and, and get the student engagement up is by having another principal office bearer, another part-time vice president who would then be responsible for events and campaigns. I know this is an idea that's shared by the other principal office staff at the moment, and I would be happy to help push for that. That person then would take a lot of workload off our hands and we can actually engage with students then and we can get out there and we can make campaigns and reach out and students see us actually trying to make a difference. Um, all my kind of policies and you know a lot of what I've had to say has been put out already, whether it's on posters or online. Um, so really from now on I'd be happy to answer questions. I think would be the best way for this to go forward. So thank you.